Okay, so we're going to prove that if a and b are positive integers and a divides b, then a must be less than or equal to b. So proof. So first, we know that a and b are positive integers. So that means uh, we're going to, we can write it like this. a and b are contained in the natural numbers, right? So of course, this implies that a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0, right? We also know that a divides b. So a divides b implies that b is equal to ak, where k is some integer, right? Well, since we have, right, since we have a is greater than 0, b is greater than 0, and b is equal to ak, right? This means that um, k must also be greater than 0, right? Since a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0, and b is equal to a k, that means both a and k must be bigger than 0, because b is greater bigger than 0. All right, so this means, right, that uh, b must be bigger than or equal to a, right, because b has to be greater than this or equal to it, right, and b must be greater than or equal to k, right. Since b is equal to the product of those two things, that means b must be greater than or equal to each individual one, right? Okay. So, and of course, this is what we wanted, right? We have b is greater than or equal to a, but that is the same thing as a is less than or equal to b, which is up here. Right? Eh, let me move it up. That is the same thing that we have here. Okay. So that is our proof. QED.